back to Savage Kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be doing something a little bit special for St. Patrick's Day. I, uh, I've got a lot of Irish in my family. There's the Clearys, there's the Bradys, there's a lot of red hair in drinking. Um, so today, we are going to be embracing all things Irish with an Irish-inspired cocktail. Um, so when I think of Irish cocktails, I most often think of Irish coffee. This is nothing like that. This is actually, we're gonna call this an Irish tea. We are going to be using my personal favorite Irish whiskey, uh, which is Jameson. Pre-COVID pre days, you could find me at my favorite dive bar playing pool, uh, drinking Jameson rocks more often than I would care to admit. <laughs> um, and then in a nod to my Irish grandfather, actually, who loved France and all things French, we are going to be pairing the Jameson with chartreuse. Um, if you saw my video a couple weeks ago where I uh, taste chartreuse and I compare green chartreuse to yellow chartreuse, um, you can get a little bit more information about what this is there. And we're going to be using it in this drink because chartreuse has this lovely herbal quality. There are 130 herbs that go into this liqueur. Uh, it's made by monks in France. It's a super secret recipe and it's absolutely delicious. Then in addition to our Jameson and our chartreuse, we're gonna be adding some fresh squeezed lemon juice, some mint simple syrup, and some apple juice. Now rounding out all these things is going to be an egg white. And I actually went to the farmer's market this morning, got a pack of eggs, and there was a green egg. So I'm gonna take this as good luck, luck of the Irish with our, uh, with our green egg. So for tools you're gonna to need, you're gonna want your shaker. I'm using my elevated craft shaker that I absolutely love. Just for the purposes of showing you what's gonna go in the drink, I'm gonna use this so you can see because we drink with our eyes first. And I'm gonna be pouring this into a snifter. Honestly, use whatever glass you like. I chose this because I'm tired of photographing other glasses. Thought a snifter was pretty cool. So let's talk about this green egg for a second. If you saw my interview with 60 Second Cocktails, I'll put a link to that below. Uh, Vino Valentino is great. He has an awesome channel about cocktails as well. And uh, he interviewed me recently and asked me what my blind spots are in cocktails. And quite honestly, there are so many. I'm not a professional bartender. I make cocktails at home. Um, but I loved going to happy hour pre-COVID days. And one of the things that I would order often, but up until a few days ago, had never ever made at home were cocktails that incorporated egg white. So fast forward to today. I uh, decided after having that interview with Vino that I really needed to experiment and push myself a little bit. And this cocktail is the perfect vehicle for the egg white. Now, for those of you that might be a little bit intimidated by egg white, as I was, um, it's really not a big deal. It's so easy. Uh, the biggest challenge for me, which you'll probably see, is actually just cracking the egg white and not getting any shell in there. So what the egg white does is smooths and balances all of these flavors that we're putting in there, and it gives a really silky mouthfeel to the drink. Yes, it's raw egg, but we're putting so much alcohol in here. Does it really make a difference? You're not drinking cocktails for your health. Secondly, you can Google it. There's all kinds of research for it. If you let your drink sit for like 10 seconds with the egg, it's gonna kill anything in there. You're gonna be fine. Unless you're allergic, don't do this. So let's get into it. We're actually gonna start with our egg because if I screw this up, I don't wanna waste all of this beautiful alcohol. And there's a really good chance that I'm gonna screw it up. So what we're going to do is crack our egg and we wanna separate the yolk from the white. My God, it worked. Woo. And so I don't, I hate to waste things. Uh, don't throw this away. What I've been doing actually is um, saving the yolk in any of the white that I don't use and I cook it for my dog. Lucy's been having a really great week with all of the eggs she's getting. Okay, we've separated our yolk from the white. We don't need quite this much egg white, which is why I went into a little bowl with it instead of straight into our mixture just an ounce will do. So let's measure that out. And yeah, we definitely have some egg white left. More for Lucy. Into our mixing glass. Then we're gonna take our Jameson. And I have Old Faithful here, regular Jameson, which I love. 
But I also have a little bit of this black barrel left and it looks like exactly the amount I need. So we are going to actually use that for this cocktail and kiss mwah, this beautiful bottle goodbye. I love Jameson Black Barrel. Mm, smells like terrible decisions. Okay. We do one ounce. Ah, perfection. Goodbye, old friend. And then, don't be scared, folks. We're actually going to do two full ounces of chartreuse, um, which might seem crazy. Mm. Oh, my God, it smells so good. But why wouldn't you do two full ounces of chartreuse? I mean, really. It's decadent. It's beautiful. It's going to give us this luscious green color. Um, and it really, this is what creates that herbal tea flavor in the cocktail. So we've got our one ounce of Jameson, two ounces of chartreuse. Now we're gonna do one ounce of apple juice. And like nothing fancy here, just like apple juice out of the Martinelli's, which is the brand I like, apple juice. And then let's do just half an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. You could dial this up or down depending on how tart you like your drink. For example, if you like a lot of lemon in your tea, maybe add more lemon to this. I personally, I just wanted a hint of acidity in this. I thought, I thought more lemon was a little bit overpowering. Uh, this ratio is just a really nice balance of flavors. And then finally, we are going to add our mint simple syrup. Mint simple syrup is like the easiest thing in the world to make. Just take a cup of water, a cup of sugar, throw some fresh mint in there, bring it to a boil, and then uh, let it cool. That's it. I like to leave my mint in the jar because the mint flavor intensifies over time. And I personally really love mint. So you can strain the mint out if you want. It'll last longer, but I tend to go through this stuff pretty quickly. So before we add ice, we're actually going to do what's called a dry shake. And the reason we're going to do that is we want that egg and those proteins in the egg white to emulsify. So into our shaker. Let's pour our mixture. Seal it up, make sure that's on there tight. Give this a good shake. You know, I used to hate shaking. I used to talk about it a lot. And not to be all cheesy, because like I feel like I have a really nice relationship with Elevated Craft now, um, but I genuinely love this shaker. It's not messy. You can get a good grip on it. Your hands don't get freezing cold. I love this thing. All right, that should be enough for a dry shake. I'm just gonna release this valve a little bit to let some of the pressure out. Then we're gonna add ice and give this a real shake. Oh, it already smells so good. <laughs> All right. All right, get your shaker. Any type of shaker will do. Seal that up tight and give this a shake for a good 30 seconds. All right, we're gonna let this hang out for a second while we garnish our glass. So I'm gonna take this fresh, very sad looking mint. It's a little bit wilted. We'll live. So before we attach this as a garnish, we're gonna just smack it around a little bit. And that's just to get those, those oils opened up and released. Mm. God, it smells really good. I love fresh mint. And then we're gonna take, we're gonna put some leaves inside of the glass and then on the outside of the glass. So let's do this. I'm just gonna break off the ends there. I'm gonna take my little cocktail clip. I'm gonna clip this right to the side of our glass. Pretty. How very Irish. Okay. Let's release that valve. And into the glass we go. Oh, I love how green and fresh this is. Oh, so pretty. So there we have it. This is our uh, Drunken Shamrock 2021, an Irish tea. Cheers, friends. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Oh, wow. I need more. Mm. 
So to taste this, it's minty, it's bright, but it's silky because of the egg white. Um, if you've ever had a Moroccan mint tea, there's actually a similarity in scent and flavor. All of these ingredients come together so beautifully and not a single one overpowers the other, even with two ounces of chartreuse versus uh, just an ounce of Irish whiskey. This is absolutely delightful. I'm just gonna have a wee drop more. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good.